Hi, everybody, and welcome to Commit's Manager's Training. My name is Lee L, and I'm a Customer Success Manager here at Commit. The goal of our meeting today is to learn about how to use Commit, at what point in time will you have a role in the hiring process, and how to use the system in general. Recruiting with Commit allows everyone in the hiring team to work together, the recruiter, the management, and the hiring manager can all work together using the same software. You'll find that the system is, has a very intuitive interface and easy access. It'll help you improve and speed up your different hiring processes. It'll reduce your emails and ensure transparency, while also allowing you to be fully involved in the hiring process and know where a candidate stands. Your candidate experience will be improved, and you'll also have various reporting available for recruitment insights. This is our agenda for today. We're gonna to go over how to sign in to Commit, go over your tasks list, understand how the different positions and candidate cards are shown in the system, how to work with the system when interviewing a candidate, communicating internally, and searching. So this is the invitation that you'll receive via email from your team to join um, the system, essentially. You'll click on join your team, and you'll be taken into the browser where you can either sign in using your LinkedIn account, saving you an, another password to remember, or using an email and password. Once you log in, this will be your main screen. On the left-hand side in dark blue, you'll see all of the different open positions that you have a role in the hiring team. And on the right-hand side, you'll have your task view. These tasks will include various tasks such as screening CVs, scheduling interviews, and interviewing different candidates. Once you want to look in a specific position, you'll just choose the position on the left-hand side as we chose here the QA manager. And on the right-hand side, the details will open up. You'll be able to see the workflow for the position, which is the visual view of the steps that each candidate has to pass in order to be hired. Each candidate will be displayed with their assigned step on the left-hand side, and this can also, also be filtered by step type. Once you wanna look in um, a specific candidate card and read more details about them and take specific actions, we'll choose the selected candidate on the left-hand side and we will see the candidate card open up. At the top part of the candidate card, you'll see the current step in the workflow that this candidate is in. Below that, you'll have the candidate details and when you scroll down, you'll have a candidate resume. We also have the option to tag different candidates with different skills or qualities that we'd like a visualization within their candidate card. When looking at the candidate card, you'll be able to see, as mentioned, the workflow, the current step that the candidate is in at the top part, different candidate details, such as their source, email, phone number. And below that, we'll have a section um, that documents all of the different activities that this candidate has had within the system, any steps that have already been completed, evaluations, comments, and so on and so forth. Below that, we'll have the evaluations, um, past evaluations for this specific candidate. You'll be able to see previous interview summaries and different recommendations from your team. This part um, will show you the candidate's history, including internal and ex external communication. You have different filters to view the candidate's history. Now let's talk about how to work with a specific candidate within the system. We have two st steps in the system that will involve you. The first type of step is called a go-no-go -no -go step. You wanna pass or not pass this candidate to the next step in the workflow. The go-no-go -no -go step will be most relevant for CV screens in most cases, and you'll have two options. Either you can click on go and move the candidate a step forward in the process, or you can select no-go and reject this candidate. When clicking no go, a drop down will open up and you'll have to choose the reason why this candidate isn't suitable for this position. Once you click on go, the candidate will move to the next step in the workflow and that step will be assigned to the relevant teammate to take action. Another kind of step that we have is scheduling an interview. If you're scheduling your own interviews, you'll have an assignment in your task to schedule an interview You'll click schedule on the workflow step and a window will open up with your calendar and the options to schedule a phone, video or in-person interview. 
accordingly and send that invite to the candidate. If you're just interviewing and your meetings have already been scheduled in advance, you'll need to just click on the interview button and you will go into the interview evaluation. On the left-hand side, you'll be able to see the candidate details, any historical information about him and past evaluations. And on the right-hand side, you'll have a place where you can write different notes um, as well as private notes and the candidate's availability or salary expectations. Once you're ready to evaluate the candidate after or during your conversation with them, you'll have the evaluation screen on the left-hand side. Here you have different fields such as pros, concerns, and further review. They're all optional depending on how you would like to use the system. The only field that is a must and is required in order to submit the evaluation is the recommendation field. Here you'll need to mark no hire, not sure, proceed, or strong hire according to your recommendation. Once you select your recommendation, the submit button will turn green and you will be able to hand in your evaluation thus moving the candidate to the next step in the workflow according to your recommendation. Within the interview evaluation, we also have the interview scorecard. This is a list of qualities or skills that you're interested in ranking your candidates on a star ranking of one to five. This can be a great tool for evaluating candidates and comparing them between other candidates and choosing um, this recommendation in your hiring process. Another feature that we have that is a great add-on for interviews is the interview questions function. The interview questions feature allows you to set in advance different interview question sets that you would like to use during the interview. You can either use our database of interview questions, look for specific qualities or professional topics and add an existing question to a question set or you can create your own question set, give it a title, a description, and add the different questions that are relevant. Once you click save, you'll be able to add these questions during the interview evaluation. Click the drop down, choose the questions that you would like to ask, and you can also print these questions in advance. Next, we're going to talk about communication. Communication in Kumi can be done on an external level, with candidates or sources from within the candidate card. You'll have the email tab and a drop down will open up with different templates that you can use. And of course you can use your own um, templates. Here you'll be able to also see the threads visibility level and postpone the sending time. If you'd like to communicate internally with your team regarding this specific candidate, you can use the comment section to add any relevant comments and tag other hiring team members to communicate with. These team members will get a notification in their email, allowing them to respond to you while having the whole conversation documented within Comit. In addition, we have the reminders tab. Here you can set up different reminders for yourself or for your teammates to contact a candidate, for example, at a certain time. Once you've started using Comit for quite some time, you'll find that Comit has been become a very relevant and important database for you. And you probably want to search for past candidate, past positions, and other important information. In this case, you can use the search line at the top of your task list. And if you'd like to dive into the data just a bit more, you can use the advanced search. The advanced search will open up and allow you to filter various um, information, keywords, statuses, and dates in order to identify the candidates that you're looking for. You can look for candidates in progress for a specific position in a specific location, or identify which candidates have an interview in the upcoming days. Each search can be saved as a bookmark for future use, and you can export this list and share it with your team. Now we're gonna talk about personal settings. After you've logged into Commit, it's a great idea and very important to go into your personal profile and set it up. First, you might wanna upload a photo, giving the workflow visualization a nice touch, and you have the option to scroll down and add more details, such as your signature. Under the notifications tab, you can choose the notification frequency and the periodic updates that will be sent to your email. Make sure to set up your time zone and first day of the week according, accordingly. 
In the calendar tab, you can connect your own calendar to Pameet. This is important for scheduling options. If you have a scheduling assistant or recruiter that is setting up your interviews, you'll need to connect your calendar so they have visibility. And we also have a feature called Away Mode, which allows you to have your teammates cover for you and assist you with your tasks while you're away. Just click Enable and choose the teammate that you would like to assign your tasks to. If you're on the go, you can also use our mobile um, app. All you have to do is log in and you'll see all of your tasks, the relevant CVs you need to go over and you can just click go, no go from anywhere. Moving forward, if you have any more questions, you can reach out to our support team via the chat bubble on the right hand side of the screen, colored in blue. We also have our help center with various articles and how-to videos that can be very useful and informative. Thanks for joining us today and good luck.